Hello. Okay, now we can start. Hello everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to use the play sound command in Minecraft. You can play all sorts of Minecraft sounds varying from a villager's uncooperation to annoying cave sounds. And any of these sounds can be triggered at your will with just one command. So to start off, all you really have to do is type in slash play sound. Then you can choose which sound you want. This is ridiculous. But luckily they are sorted by different types. So you can get ambient, that is not how you spell ambient, you can get amb- ugh, that, come on. You can get ambient, you can get block, you get entity, item, music, this individual sound for particle, UI, and weather. So I'm just going to do block.chest.open. Then after that you'll be able to choose which audio channel the sound will play in. And this does require you to have your sounds on. So if you play it in the blocks channel, make sure that's on. Or the plays channel, you have to make sure that's on. Music. Yeah, don't play it in music if that's off. I'm going to choose master so everyone can hear my spam sounds into their bleeding ears. Then you can choose who can hear it. Well, everyone obviously. The coordinates. Just put in these squiggly thingies. Then you can put in three numbers. This one's your primary volume. This is your pitch. And this is the minimum volume. So if we play this now, you hear a chest. But we can also change the pitch because it's funny. That sounds like a creaking floorboard. You can even lower it down. That just sounds creepy. So the range of the pitch can go from 0.1 to 2. You can't make it higher or lower. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's no difference. I'm going to change this to UI sound instead. Toast.challenge underscore complete. Ooh, now I feel like I just achieved something. Apologies in advance, I'm going to have to make your ears bleed for demonstration purposes. I'm changing this to entity.villager. No. Frogs. And now I'll be demonstrating the volume and actually what it can do. If you increase the volume, there's no difference to it if it was on one. Which means you can more think of the volume as range. If I keep everything at one, flip the switch, fly away. You're still going to be able to hear it. That's annoying. You can change the minimum volume to zero, so you can actually see what the main volume does. So now that it's set at one, we can back away and it will fade out eventually. This sounds ridiculous. And we can increase the volume to two. Now we can hear it further away. I think you get the point now. Cave sounds. No. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And if you have any further questions, you can join my Discord server, which I created specifically to answer people's questions. But instead, people are taking it as a cheese cult. So... If you have questions, join the server please. And you can like and subscribe to show support for the channel. And every time you do, it'll make this noise. How do you like it?